Welcome back to Bordeaux Life. If you're new to the channel, I'm Ed. My wife, Anna, is behind the camera. Today, I've got my belt on for my back brace and we're gonna get some uh, joint on the wall. We're gonna finish off a little bit around the corner. I have a bit of bad news as well. And then later on in the vlog, we're gonna go see Louis's new shop, which is great, and finish off here. Let's get inside and get mixing. So as promised, I'm gonna be doing some pointing up outside. I'm gonna be doing a little bit less than I was gonna do because I wanted to finish that wall, just because we're a little bit late getting here this morning. Just checking the joint mixture because it's been a while since I've used it. Seems good. I'm going slow on this just because I don't want it too liquidy, I want it quite muddy, we'll say. What do you think of that mix, Anna? Are you joking, Ed? Nowhere near ready. Oh, no. You're testing me. Yeah, t testing your uh, apprenticeship skills of learning on the job. It's more like it. Let's go. So it's a kind of four step process. First of all, you wet it, then you pop the joint in, smooth it off, leave it a few hours and then scratch it off. It's a full process. really important to wet it otherwise you, it doesn't stick. Ed, you got water all over Jules's window. Don't worry about that, that'll dry off. Uh, that moves on to seamlessly to my bad news. Oh. Come close. Basically, I got the quote back for framing up the door and, and changing the door to how I wanted the door to be. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, Jules has changed his mindset on pricing and I don't know how to say it nicely, but it was ridiculous. It's given us price of 5,000 euros just to produce a frame and put a bit of glass and, 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 and a window on the back of the door. So unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to have Jules work with us again, at least on this build, but yeah, so it's really annoying because I really, Really did like Jules, but unfortunately... The price is too high for us. Well, it's not just too high. It's like 
saying he doesn't want to do it. So, Okay, so get your board here to hold it up and then just push in with the, tra with the trowel. Problem is it's, it's a little difficult, this first line. We might have to fill in and then scrape off. We'll scrape off this line though, that's for sure. That was a sweet moment. I didn't film it, but the neighbor was coming by to congratulate you. I know, it's very kind of her. I know it's like, it's a tricky moment, but it's very sweet. She's over so thoughtful. Yeah. Um, I know I'm going a little bit slow, but I prefer to go a little bit slow and so I don't have more to clean up afterwards. You'll understand better a bit later on in the vlog. Isn't, so it, isn't it, there a saying? Yeah. Slow and steady wins the race? Something like that. It's, it's a bit hard really because some of these stones, they're a bit kind of in a bad way. And so you have to tart up the stone as well. It's a beautiful sunny day, but it's tricky to film a cream wall with full sunshine. So I'm having to adjust the light all the time. It's funny that everyone just pretty much stops and stays at the place and then they continue. So that's how it should be, very easy. This is a little bit harder because we have this. Here over here I'm struggling because I've done my joint mix for doing the joints rather than filling in. And it's still gonna need a load of filling in here. So I'm gonna do a little bit of filling in just to kind of build it up a bit. But I'm concentrating on the joints to show you guys the process of the joints. I should be able to do this. Can anybody spot something I've missed? Pop it in the comments. I can't spot a thing, but yes. Let's see what everyone says. So the idea is you get a little bit extra so you can just scratch it off after. And I think I found it. You think you found what? What you've missed. Go on then. It's the little bit here. Yes, it is. I was... Uh, and are racing to get onto the joints and I just realized I missed that. There is a little bit over there as well. And what's the point in doing all this work if we leave some cement behind? So yeah, that needs hacking off. So of course, I wouldn't normally do a tiny bit in the bucket like that, but like I said, we're a bit late getting here today. And a really important part of the process is letting this joint dry. If I put more on now, I'm gonna be here till seven, maybe eight o'clock at night waiting for it to dry. 
So I'm just going to finish pointing this little bit here, maybe here, maybe fill in at this side of here. But to, to be fair, the, the, the joints on the placage, the uh, veneer, they're just the same as these joints here. So anybody wanting to learn how to do this, it's the same thing. It's just a slightly different joint. Yes, plus there's no point in doing more because we still need to get this little bit of cement off. Pretty much using every last drop of it here. But it's going to look spectacular. Okay. It is looking really good, Ed. Well, I'm just kind of making sure that there's not too much, not too little, before we go for lunch. But you know what? I said we'd go see Louis first, but seeing how much it's dried in the little bit of time that we went to see the neighbor, and we'll talk about that a little bit later, um, it's almost dry. So I'm gonna take you for some lunch, Anna. And when we get back, we'll finish cleaning this up and, and it'll be ready to, to show you. Sounds good. There's a little square here, Ed, isn't there? Yeah. Well, pretty big one. Yeah, and uh, this is our little canteen, the Labo. It's a boulangerie. But today, Anna, you're so lucky. I'm taking you for a kebab. Oh. Merci. Merci, au revoir. Listen to those inconsiderate people working just after lunch. It's a good job Louis's not here because he'd still be having his siesta. Before we get going this afternoon, I have to say the food was really good. I think they were enjoying the fact that we filmed there and they filled those kebabs full of meat, didn't they? They were massive. Okay, before we get going, I just wanted to talk about something. Okay, a couple of things. I'll reiterate, we still have the other one of these that we're gonna put back here. It just needs repairing, so don't worry. We will be putting it back. We'll be giving it a nice coat of paint. We're putting the shutters on, but I've just not been brave enough with my back to go up a ladder and put them on. And last, before we go back around the corner and finish off, this is telecom. So people have been saying, what's that ugly box on the side of the building? Yeah, so it's telecom, and I'm not so sure whether they have the right or not in France to have that on the building. I think possibly they do. Uh, I'll look into it. There is another telecom box around here. Can't do anything about that. It's on public land. Okay. So. Moment of truth, don't, don't start without us. Well. I left it a little bit too long. Are you joking? No, it's fine. This I'm going to leave, as I said before, because it needs another coat. 
this is a bit similar really. Um, it's probably going to need a little bit more. So I'm just going to tidy up the stone and then we'll properly work below. You see, Anna, this is why I wanted to do a new build chateau. Don't why? Have these kind of problems. Oh. Do you remember at Villeneuve? It was so much easier. But you still had to do some joints. Yeah, but the joints that I did were on new stone and it just makes it so much easier when it's all lined up nice and neat. So that's how the how the process is done. I had to I had to cheat a little bit down here because it wasn't quite dry enough. Could have done with another hour, but I'm not waiting an hour. So I just kind of lightly scraped scraped it there. But the rest you can really hack at. Um, I think next week we're going to come back. We'll be here on time in the morning, and we'll get that done. Finish all of that off. Um, let's nip over to see how Louis doing in his hat shop. And there's a little surprise coming for this next section. Before we lock up and go, um, yeah, the neighbour gave you a, a little present, didn't you, Anna? Yes, a nice big glass. Uh, window pane, yeah. Sorry, yeah, massive though. Massive uh, window pane, about the same as size as our um, sliding doors that we have, the bifold, uh, the bifold doors. And you've got a use for it straight away, haven't you, Anna? Yes, we're right in a table plan. So Anna's going to use that back at the chateau. Let's go see Louis. Okay guys, let's go and see what Louis is up to because we haven't seen the shop. We've been busy with our own things and it's all looking good and finished. Let's go and have a look. Before we go in, this is a video that Louis sent to me that shows you exactly what it was like just before he started the work. And it says closed. But we do know that Louis is in, don't we? Well, yeah, but he, he always he always likes a bit of a siesta. Maybe it's... He does like his siesta. A little bit of a knock-knock. And we'll give him a call as well. 
OK, let's try the door. Oh, Louis, come in. Salut, mon petit Louis. Bonjour. Bonjour. Bonjour, Edouard. Hello. How are you today? I'm Welcome very... back for another vlog, everyone. <laughs> I've already done that. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. We did it again. It's so nice to finally see the shop, Louis. Welcome, guys. You got the first one. <gasps> nice. Yes, first client. So I hope you have cash on you. <laughs> Car yeah. Card or check. <laughs> you know, we're the cheapest clients as well. Yeah. <laughs> no, but it's looking beautiful. I Thank love you. what you've done with the place. Yes. And I love the color of the outside. Olive green. Beautiful. Yeah, we will show you everybody. But I'm sure everybody follow me on the... Instagram. Yeah, Louis has yeah. an Instagram page, guys. If you don't follow him, please do give him a follow. I will put the link in the description. And you can see what Louis gets up to day to day. Exactly. And just follow his next adventures. Exactly. So just Louis, I love the hats that you've done. But I think I'd like to see your workplace because we've never shown ever anyone what you actually do and how you do it and how the fact that you personalize everything to people's requests. Yes, so this is not only a shop. It's as well an atelier where I make it, where I make the shops. So at the back of the, the how do you say, the room, the, the la pièce. Uh -huh. At the back of the room, the shop. The shop, the shop. Yeah. You have my place where I work, so it's the atelier with my staff. Um, this one I make it this morning for an order. So oh, so it's already on. Everything is on. This order is the one from the guy at the bar in front of me. He said ah. that he wants one for a wedding, so I'm just making it. Uh, so this part is just to work for me. The part where I do the couture. I don't know how to say that. The sewing. <laughs> okay. And this part is more to make the hats. And after the rest of the room and the shop is to expose the hats. And I'm selling jewelries uh, as ah. well now. Um, well, everything is not fixed and finished. I need to put my beautiful mirror on ah, the wall. Yeah. And to open the, the place. And don't forget about the feng shui stuff, guys. <laughs> So yes, it's it's small. Well, small. It's, it's 25 meters square, but it's enough for me to work, to see my work, and yeah, expose the the, the, the hats. Here you have the wall with all of them, different style, different shapes, more adventure style, or you have more classy ones. It's the Spanish uh, Sevillan hats, and here beautiful open. Uh, with the window and the light, can be more light, uh, but I put spots like uh, which we love. I love spots because they just like light everything. But you've also put a, a beautiful, nice light in the middle. Yes. Okay. So um, I don't want to. I want something like a uh, um, uh, shop. So we need l l white light, but it's not just a shop. It's more atelier as well. So I need more yellow. Yellow, Golden, yeah. Yes. For for the rest, and I try to put some beautiful colors over there to uh, attract people's mm -hmm. eyes from outside. So the blue is the blue from Yves Klein. Yves Klein is a painter, French painter. When he was doing painting, or it's kind of an artist, mm -hmm. and with just this color. It's Yves Klein blue, and you remember the color of the Jardin Majorelle yes. from uh, Yves Saint Laurent Sorry. in yes. uh, Morocco. Mm -hmm. So the blue is to remember my jewelry stuff, which is uh, yes, because you're now you're selling jewelry as well. Exactly, uh, it's jewelry from Niger. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I work with a guy, a two Arab guy, which is. Uh, uh, representing a corporation of uh, uh, workers in Niger, I don't mm -hmm. know what to say. He brings the, the, the jewelries in France here, and after I sell them. So the blue is for the jewelry, and the olive color is more for the hat part. What's this? This is Amor, the name of the brand, Atelier Amor, guys.
This was so much fun, guys. Because I've seen, well, I've seen Louis do his stuff, but like to see it all for real and to take shape and his dream to become a reality is amazing. And he's going to be here with his little assistant, Jenny. She's a little cute and I've tried one of the hats myself. I haven't chosen yet which one I'm going to go for. Look, I can do one. Do, well, we're definitely going to... Do you have hats under the 50 euro mark? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know you, huh? Maybe for you, but uh, I can order from uh, another place, but... Well, <laughs> I can do one buy, another one... Yes! Half no, same price. <laughs> <laughs> same price, man. Maybe, maybe he gets like 5% off. Ah, uh, four, it's okay. Four, it's okay, yeah. Well, no, but Just because England more. lost... <laughs> Yeah, the Euro. That's okay. Against Spain. Huh? Again. Against Spain. I, what, what maybe it? one day you will win something, guys. Sorry for that. But Spain, yeah. Always one day. Me. One day. <laughs> no, but the hats are beautiful. Thank you all for watching. And don't forget, uh, put the thumbs up and subscribe, guys. What about the bell? Um, oh, yeah. Ring the bell. Take care of the bell. Sometimes uh, the subscribers uh, cancel. So <laughs> ring the bell and subscribe. See you all soon. Bye. Bye, guys.